The Steel City might be most associated with this legendary NFL franchise, but people here in Pittsburgh know that the ties to the Panthers run deep. Glad to have you with us here at AccraSure Stadium, home to the Pittsburgh Panthers. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number eight team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Pittsburgh Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Clemson will kick off to get us underway. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Panthers' offense is on the field for the first time today. This has an old-school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field, and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, the old school, because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention. But this guy's so good, he is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. To the air, it's Holstein. He makes the connection. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separation between him and the defender, and that was a big key in getting that first down. The Panthers will hustle to the line. Fast motion from the offense. Off the play fake on first down. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. That is an awesome play up front right there, crashing that play in the backfield. And it's funny, you know, you think back to Clemson. Remember when Trevor Lawrence won a national title his true freshman year? It wasn't necessarily about Trevor Lawrence. They won that title because of their defensive dominance, especially on the D-line. That may have been the best D-line we've ever seen in college football. And I tell you, sometimes this dude looks like he could start on that D-line. He's that talented. He's looking for an open man on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Mumpfield. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. They'll try to get the first through the air. Fires to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. This offense has moved into plus territory, and they want to keep the heat on. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab over the middle. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. 
Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The run from the shotgun. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. This opening drive, methodical, efficient. They'll snap it for the ninth time on third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So the Pitt Panthers offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. A big challenge for both of these quarterbacks, Jesse, is dealing with a ball-hawking free safety on the other side. Well, you're right, Reese. QBs better be good with their eyes. Better not stare down wide receivers in this one because if you float the ball down the middle... And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. They tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket. He comes away with the sack. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second along from the 21. Quick completion on the out route. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Great timing there on that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes the catch and his momentum takes him out of bounds. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Moving out of the pocket. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. You honestly can't really do it better than that. You can't. I mean, that was designed to be a pass play. Give the defense credit. They get some pressure. But this guy's just too good. He just instinctively knows when he needs to scramble and get out of dodge. And at that point, he's making good decisions. If a guy's open, he's throwing it. But if it's not, he's not even hesitating. I'm going to go get what I can get, get a first down with my speed and athleticism. Let's keep this drive rolling. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Clemson has just been prolific at the receiver position. More scheme or more talent? I'd argue it's both, David. Yeah, I argue more talent over the years. Just dudes on the outside that win. And you know what? I think Clemson, as much as anybody in the country, has always featured those guys. And you want to play one-on-one -on -one with those guys or you want to give them a cushion like they'll throw it right now. And they've always believed in those guys out wide. And you know what? They usually come through for them. Caught in the backfield, it's Randall. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Haynes. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And a really nice job by the defense of winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. <laughs> They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. 
Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on it. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. And that is textbook, instructional video, out of bounds right around the goal line. Gonna run it, it's Reed. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. You wanna talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Wants to throw. It's Holstein. Flips it out to the back. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field. You've got a third and manageable back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Got it in the middle. It's Reed. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. And the Panthers with the first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Pittsburgh has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? They'll try to run for it. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Pitt will have to boot this one away. The punter gonna get his first work of the afternoon. Looking for a block, it's Williams. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Get Nowhere to go, and the ball's loose! Oh, and a burst disaster by falling on his own fumble. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football, you stick the quarterback, and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again, and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. He's got his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Randall. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. 
It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. Pulls it and fires to the left. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. Touchdown, Tigers! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he punctuated that drive by ripping off a 38-yard run for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Trying to move them on the counter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And when you run the counter play, you're really hoping to bust that thing inside. You want to fake one direction, pull a guy, kick him out. But you could tell great job by the defense making that thing bow. Go a little bit outside. Now, guess what? All the Cavalry's coming. Everybody can run to the football. Everybody gets in the play. Nice job by the defense. Back to pass. It's Holstein. Quickly complete. And they get him down. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll run play action. Catch in the middle. It's Williams. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And you got to love this if you're the defensive coordinator because your defense stayed disciplined. They didn't over-pursue to the running back. They stayed home, played great with their eyes, and they were able to make the tackle. Don't try to overcome that last play on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Williams. Right down the gut of the field. Touchdown, Pitt! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 66 yards to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. 
Throws to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Fires to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He's looking deep. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes the catch at the 30. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Got it behind the line. It's Johnson. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Here comes the offense on second down. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw on second down. Working that left side now. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Panthers. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They've got to shore up their play in the back half. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. He looks that one in nicely. That quarterback has a hose. That dude can throw it to a car wash and not get it wet. Great job of putting that ball on a line to his wide receiver. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. They drag him down, but not before he picks up a Clemson first down. Clemson has always loved these quarterbacks who can put pressure on defenses by running the football. No doubt. And, man, it's, it's such an advantage to have guys that are elusive and electric that can they can get outside and you got a back going one way a quarterback going the other way it really stretches your defense and Clemson has been ahead of the curve and they've been on this for a long time 
And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40 yard gains later. They really wear down defenses and they test their physicality. Nine yard pickup on first down and now they can take a shot on second and short. Wide out in motion. He'll keep it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Caught over the middle. It's grinding spool. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Going up top on first down. Looking to scramble. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. To the air, it's Klubnik. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Here comes Clemson with another first down. Pressure coming. Going to try to get it himself. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Let's see what Clemson comes up with on first and goal. He wants to throw it. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. Grabbed over the middle, it's Williams. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter, and already this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. To the air on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Williams. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Let's see what they've got on second down. To throw, it's Holstein. Trying to get to it. 
And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. I don't hate the play call there on third and short either because you try to catch them off guard. Third and short on your own side of the 50. It's not there. Throw it away. Now, if you want to go for it now and run it, now's the time to do it on fourth down. Pitt will line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Pittsburgh. What a fine performance we've seen. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys on the north side of Pittsburgh. Pitt will try to boot this thing deep to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Using the pads, using the stiff arm, using all kind of strength to get it across the 25 to the 26. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting on this block, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. A complete downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This has been a staple of the offense at Clemson. Get those big receivers, let them make plays downfield, and it's been very effective over the years. Yeah, and good quarterback play obviously helps, but when you've got good matchups on the outside, it kind of makes the defense very predictable. Like, I got to give help. Okay, it helps my running game. You don't give help. Okay, I'm throwing to my freak out wide. So I think these guys on the outside with all that speed definitely are a problem for defenses. You know, the one thing you can say about this defense, they pursue the football. The first guy might miss, the second guy might miss, but there's going to be more and more hats flying to the ball carry. You saw it on that play getting the tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. On the run, still looking. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. I tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. To the air, it's Klubnik. Makes the grab on the left. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. 
I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And the holder will place it down on the left hash. A 47-yard try coming. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. Tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Looking for space. It's Reed. Plows through the defense. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Direct snap. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. And, you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the running game. you got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. For jet sweep pass. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. And that play is essentially like a jet sweep, right? This offense is going to run the football conventionally. They'll do it between the tackles. They'll do it outside. But there's a lot of different creative ways they can get their playmakers the football in the running game. And I think that was an example of what you saw right there. Looking downfield, it's Holstein. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Pitt will have to boot this one away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now, second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Shows him the stiff arm. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Gets it out fast. 
They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing it. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom, I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in the bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Floats it out in space. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Hey, on offense, you got to know when the play is over. And that one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You, you start trying to juke guys. You start trying to run backward. This ain't high school anymore. I mean, you used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big-time college football, though. Not good. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And the quarterback is snowed under. Not a ton of play calls for third in California when you're on offense. You know you're going to have to have your quarterback holding on to the football. You really got to think about how you're going to protect them. Offensive coordinator may want to think about using more max protect schemes, get more bodies in to give this quarterback a chance. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. He gets a block. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. minute to go here in the third quarter. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got his man quickly. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He was going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. A defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. I think that's why you got to run the football on third and inches, because even if you don't get it, you're setting up fourth and inches, and you can try to run it again and get the first down. Now you don't have that opportunity. The defense comes on the blitz. They create the negative play. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Pitt will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to get a chance to feel that one, and the punt will bounce out of bounds. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Looking to pass, it's Klubnik. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And remember, we saw this receiver in the first half have a number of inward-breaking routes. And now in the second half, 
we're seeing more stuff to the outside. That's a really good adjustment by this offensive coordinator. Used to play fake, now to throw. Pulls it in, it's Randall. He's brought down, solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. On second down, he'll let it fly. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. And the defense has their hands full of trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And they've regained the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him, he delivered. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Go pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking downfield, it's Holstein. Makes the grab down the middle. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. There's a reason third down is called the money. Man. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. 
fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball to the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. They could really use a few yards here on third down because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. Back to throw, it's Holstein. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got the tight end. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? This game is so close to being salted away if the offense can just run out the clock. Still on his feet at the 45. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances. They are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. Clemson is quick to the line. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. They'll try the run. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. From the 36, a third down, and you wonder if they're willing to take two plays to get the first. Throws to the wideout. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. First snap of this drive will come from inside the 15 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's going up top here late in the game. Oh, look out! He's at the 10. Touchdown, Panthers! They've got the lead here in the fourth. 
And they're able to score on a drive where they had to have it this late in the game, and they look to their playmaker on the outside to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big-time moments. Who do you trust as a quarterback? You could tell this was a big moment. He threw it to his big play wide receiver. He knew he would come down to it, and now the big play in the fourth quarter for the touchdown. Setting up for the PAT, and when he gets this late, every point matters. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. We've seen this guy come up with some huge throws in this game, and already on the drive, he's thrown a couple of completions. He's got them in a rhythm. This team believes they're going to win this game because of this guy playing the quarterback position. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Back to pass, it's Klubnik. Quarterback extends the play. He's going to run it. At the 35, he's loose. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The Tigers will snap it on first and 10. He's going to pass. Throws to the tight end. Snagged in the middle. It's grinding stool. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. And he was looking to the end zone, and they couldn't make the connection. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone, he makes those throws in his sleep. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Extending the play. Touchdown, Tigers! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, I love this offense being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. this when the lead will be three and at least a field goal won't beat you he's got it and the lead is up to a field goal so that scoring drive took only six plays and what a late touchdown in the final minute that is likely the game winner here the kickoff team out there set to boot it away And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. And they only need a field goal, and they have to manage the time wisely here. Yeah, I think you want to manage the clock, Reese. Be smart with your timeout situation. Know where to attack, Jesse, on the field right now. Yeah, generally, you want to attack with your best players. So get them in matchups that you like and get those guys the football. 
Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. Looking for a man. It's Holstein. Unloads to the wideout. Work in the middle. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. It's really hard to dial up big completions vertically down the field. At this juncture in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and the defense is playing with extra DBs on the field. They know you're going to throw it. Ball falls incomplete. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He wants to throw here on second down. Fires left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. All the plays, all the plans, all the schemes, and it will be decided on this kick. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. And with four seconds left, this one to save the game. From 56 yards out, what a power leg. Never a doubt about that one. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth, who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Looking to throw it again. Got a man. It's Williams. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Pittsburgh trying to put a touchdown on the board in this red zone trip. Looking to throw. It's Holstein. If he runs this back, this game's over. Going the other way, and he's got room. And that will put a stamp on it. A game-deciding play as they seal it with a pick. Oh, that's a throw the quarterback would love to have back. In this juncture of the game, it's overtime. You're down in the red zone. You know the windows are going to be small. Just got too aggressive with his decision-making. Throws the costly interception. Now the opponent's about to take over. And if they score, they win. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you've got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on a line. It's really nice to have it. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. The bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball landing out of bounds. Now third down, and they just don't want to move backwards to give their kicker a chance to win it in OT. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Looks as if Clemson will have the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. Headed to the end zone. He got it in, and the celebration is on. A walk-off touchdown in OT. 
precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully yeah I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone what an unbelievable job blocking up front